Hello and welcome everyone to episode 25 of 55 and 5. Ian and Carrie here going through all 121 1955 Parkhurst wrestling trading cards, one card at a time, bringing you five minute history lessons on each wrestler. Carrie, we talked about some really interesting folks. Pat O'Connor, a headliner, just two episodes ago. We've talked about Hans Herman, who had a Pretty outstanding career. Sunny War Class. Sunny War Class. It's been a good week so far. Yeah, it has. And so I'm going to bring bring you a gentleman right now who wrestled from 1935 to 1956. Uh-oh. So I'm going to put five... I'm dead in the water here, <laughs> folks. I'm going to put five minutes on the timer. You might want to phone a friend. You might want to call Kevin Sullivan for this, this one. That's your clue. Because Kevin grew up in Boston. And he might know this man as I hit the timer. The great Frank Sexton. Well, I'm going to get called out on this one. Um, There was a Ricky Sexton. Maybe in your notes, you might have something. Was was that his brother or his son? Possibly. But as far as Frank Sexton, uh, you say he retired in the 50s? 56 is the last match I have for him. Drawing a blank. We're honest here. I, I'm honest. I've seen his name. Mm-hmm. And I know Ricky Sexton. Sweet. So uh, hopefully you'll have some nice info for us. Yeah, so Ricky Sexton definitely came a little bit later. He's also from Massachusetts, though. Uh, Frank Sexton started in 1935 in the original Boston Garden. Uh, Ricky Sexton does appear to be related. Ricky Sexton was a WWF wrestler. He was there. For a long time. Uh, geez, from the six, he was an enhancement guy as I'm using my phone to cheat here. <laughs> but um, Frank Sexton starts in 35. In 1939, he goes to Alabama. This is our first early Alabama territory reference in this series. I wonder if George Goulos was in action. <laughs> well, it was it was uh, Chris Jordan Promotions, which is a name I've never heard of. Nope. So Chris Jordan Promotions, uh, he challenges Bronco Nagurski for the NWA World's Heavyweight championship and the match draws pretty well and that seems to get him more bookings across the country he goes to california in uh, 1941 uh, and he wrestles as the black panther and he becomes a pacific coast champion under a mask okay so that's pretty interesting uh in 1945 he defeats sandor zabo which is a name that shows up quite yes. a bit uh, one of the stars of the 20s i believe in the 30s and uh, he becomes a AWA world champion, the original AWA. Now we're we talking the Boston? Yes, the Boston okay. AWA. 71 minute match. <laughs> he wrestles. And your eyes popped out there. He goes on to wrestle 90 minute matches against Steve Casey. Uh, he. Steve Casey wins the title from him. He loses the title back to Sexton. Uh, Him and Whipper Billy Watson do major numbers in these title for title matches in Toronto. So he takes the AWA belt from Boston, takes it to Toronto to face Whipper Billy Watson for the British Commonwealth Championship or the British, the Commonwealth, I think it was the Commonwealth title, title up there. They do big box office, these champion versus champion matches. They never have a winner. (laughs) They never do, but uh, big matches there. Has title for title match with Orville Brown. In 1949, one of the first... He was an NWA champion. Yeah, the first NWA as we know it champion, even though the title kind of goes back a little further. Has title for title matches uh, all over the place. And uh, really takes makes the AWA, the original AWA title, a true world title. Defends it in England, France, Switzerland, and South Africa. Quite a career. And I, I would imagine since this is a 55 set, they sort of put this out in tribute. Right. Or, you know, maybe he was at the very end of his career, but he was such a name that mm-hmm. it would be like, we'll put him out. Yeah. He, the title he's wearing, and I tried to research this, the title he's wearing appears to be the Empresa Gran Prise, which was a Spanish title. Maybe from Europe. Yeah, it appears, and there's a there is a result of him winning this title in about in 1954, and that doesn't look like the AWA title that that he won. Well, you didn't mention the only reason I said Europe was you didn't mention Mexico, right? So I, it looks like that is the championship. But if anybody knows, uh, it appears to be that championship that he won in in Spain. So. Pretty neat. Uh, it appeared that he was on these cards that had sort of that hyped up American wrestling, which is pretty cool. 
and a uh, really interesting career. Drew some money, not a name you hear about, but a name that really, uh, really got the crowds, specifically in Boston and Toronto, really, really going. Well, hopefully some of our historian friends will be able to chime in because uh, it sounds like he had a pretty prolific career. And a great amateur. He was an amateur at Ohio State University, and he also played football there. So a uh, two-sport athlete in college as well. So pretty neat. Frank Sexton, one of the original AWA world champions, and uh, really an Ironman. I also saw a result for a 111-minute match also. Wow. Yeah, it went to 110. They called it a draw. They added one more sudden death minute. No winner. <laughs> so what are you, you, know, you going to do in a minute that you hadn't done in the 110 <laughs> minutes before it? I don't know. But that's Frank Sexton for you. Carrie, thanks for coming on this You're ride welcome. today with Frank Sexton. And uh, maybe next week on Monday, we'll have somebody. I didn't know about Frank Sexton. It was nice to learn about him. Maybe we'll have somebody we both know on Monday. All right. All right. Looking have forward. Have a good weekend. <laughs> Thanks, you too, Kerry. And I hope AJ, our producer, does well from Basan Creative and Web Design. We encourage you to check out previous episodes by going to 55and5.com. That'll get you right to the YouTube playlist. We encourage you to check out our podcast, Last Stop Penn Station, on all podcast platforms. And if you're on adfreeshows.com, check out the poster of the week where Carrie and I go through vintage wrestling posters and talk about the wrestlers and talk about the cards that they represent. So for Carrie, AJ, I'm Ian Riccoboni. Happy wrestling, everybody. Ready?